How's it going gents? Here we are today, different type of video today. Today I'm on an electric skateboard, the Vareal F1 electric skateboard. This is a dual motor, direct drive, electric skateboard that will do 40 kilometers an hour and uh, about 20 kilometers of range. So I'm going to ride this to work today. Now I work about uh, 10 kilometers away. This is what the control looks like as well. You just got like a little zoom, zoom. I'm in the slow mode right now because I'm about to go down a hill. Um, I work about 10 kilometers away from um, from the city, so this is going to be a 10 kilometer commute and then a 10 kilometer commute back home. That's about 20 k's. Uh, and we'll see how we go. We'll see how long it takes and we'll see if we can do the 20 kilometers needed to get to work and back. And we'll see what it's like actually riding an electric skateboard to work. Now, normally I ride an e bike to work, but my route's pretty good. It's all like bike track, it's not on the road or anything. It follows the Maribyrnong River into the city, so. Should be a nice little ride. So yeah, one thing that kind of caught me out riding this electric skateboard for the first time was that, uh, I didn't know this at all, but electric skateboards, they do have brakes. If I use the brakes here, it'll, nope, it'll give you no brakes. So when the when the board is fully charged, like it is now, I have, I have literally no brakes right now. Um, and that's because the board's fully charged right now. Even though I've been riding for a little bit, it's um, just going down that hill before charged up the board with the Regena braking. So right now I have absolutely no brakes. Um, so it goes back to just being a normal skateboard, which is like fine because I used to ride skateboards for years and years and years. But um, this is a bit weird being on a longboard. I'm not used to being on a longboard. Something that really did catch me out was that because uh, yeah, used to the brakes. The brakes are really good on this electric skateboard. They're like really progressive and nice. Um, but yeah, they don't work when the uh, skateboard's fully charged. So you gotta wait, like, right around for a bit. And just don't go straight down hills or else you'll die, as I almost did. Um, so probably have some brakes now. Yeah. This brakes, brakes work good now. And this is the same on booster boards, Evolve skateboards. Uh, I think there's one type of skateboard that actually uses, like, resistors or something. It's got some added electronics to be able to give you brakes even when it's fully charged. But yeah, this board, fully charged, will have no brakes. So you gotta look out for that. Yeah, this for real skateboard, they say top speed of 40. I have hit 40 before. Um, there's like a slight, slight downhill, very smooth. And I got into a bit of a tuck and I did crack 40. Um, so we'll do, you know, on flat, probably 38 or something all day long. Um, and yeah, it says it's meant to have, I think about 30 Ks of range. So we'll be testing that out real world to see if it'll do about 20, to 23 to 24 is my commute to work so we'll see if I actually get to work or not. I will say that if I if I was I, I'm not looking to commute every day I'm just testing this basically to test out the range and uh, what's actually like to commute on an electric skateboard. I like my electric bike um, purely because uh, man I'm looking out at all the cracks and stuff constantly trying to find the smoothest way. Being that it's got like polyurethane wheels like uh, freaking out. Um, it, it doesn't take bumps very nicely. It's kind of harsh ride. Uh, if I was looking at a commute one, I'd probably get one with the off-road actual inflatable tires. Um, oh, because this is annoying. My feet hurt and uh, if you had a perfectly smooth path without like constant <coughs> cracks and stuff, uh, you'd be all right. But, and it would definitely be faster being on these wheels because I'm not used to skateboarding, my feet are killing me after just freaking probably 5Ks of this. That being said, it will go pretty much over anything on these wheels. It's actually pretty amazing. Compared to a normal skateboard that even like the smallest rock just locks you up and sends you flying. 
these long boards with these big ass wheels they will go over a lot there are three modes to this little remote so we've got um the slow mode as the lights go up slowly then faster mode and the fastest mode um slow mode is definitely what you want to start off in um, even that can catch people out how quickly this thing can accelerate that electric torque man it's instant it's not until you ride one of these things yourself you realize how great casey neistat is at freaking filming himself while freaking bombing through new york city on one of these because it's not as easy as it looks feel a lot more in danger being on an electric skateboard than like an e-bike or even a regular skateboard. Um, I skateboarded for probably 10 years or something. I never wore a helmet once in my entire life on a skateboard. Um, but when I got on this e-electric skateboard, man, I put a helmet on straight away because I just, the speed is just so much more. I don't know, I just feel a lot more out of control on an electric skateboard. So. Definitely, uh, definitely happy I put a helmet on on this one. And I have watched um, YouTube videos of dudes stacking longboards and stuff, and they seem to always slide out and then go on the back of their head. And uh, I don't know, it's never really happened to me on a normal skateboard. You can't always bail, and you can always just roll it off or something. But on a longboard, I don't know. Helmet for this one. So we are rolling into the city now. Probably be another couple of minutes, and I'm in at work. That's taken me about 25 minutes. So actually not too far off my electric skateboard. I'm probably about five to maybe 10 minutes quicker on the electric skateboard, but on the electric uh, bicycle. But I'm pretty good on the e-skateboard. Definitely quicker than walking, that's for sure. The ride home will be the real test to see if uh, it gets the range. My day of work is done. Time to bomb home on the real F1, see if it'll uh, get me there. I trust today, the day I ride a freaking electric skateboard in, my uh, oven for my Jeep comes in. That's a little 12 volt pie oven that goes in the back of the Jeep. That came and I have to have to put it in the Jeep tonight. So I had to take it home somehow. Anyway, let's jump back on the skateboard and uh, rock home. That's a uh, Sea Shepherd, Steve Irwin, anti-whaling ship over there. Pretty cool. All right, it's not looking good. Control has been uh, vibrating and stuff. I actually have no idea how the uh, controller works, um, how the battery status, but it's uh, been kind of vibrating and I think it's low battery. I'm about uh, almost halfway home. So that's probably about uh, 18 kilometers I've done. It's still going. I'm just gonna go kind of half throttle, try and see how far I can get. I must say it's nice, uh, it's nice. I just came over that bridge and on the downhill, it is nice to be able to put charge back into the battery. Um, I really have no idea. I don't know if it's maybe the controller's low on battery or if it is the skateboard, but um, it's still going. There's a couple more Ks after all those, what I thought was low battery warnings, but pretty much flat all the way home now so other than one big hill which I'll have to walk up at the end I'm guessing I don't think we're gonna make it that far but, uh, let's uh, keep going I must say the skateboards doing amazing considering I literally have an oven in my backpack it's really heavy a stainless steel oven and uh, she's still going because I reckon weight would probably make a big difference I'm not a hugely fat person. I'm about, what, 76 kilos or something. But with this oven, it's probably not helping. More economical. When I was going to work, I was like flat out on the throttle and then hard on the brakes. Now I'm trying to be smooth. Now I'm climbing wall underneath the bridge. Pretty cool. Yeah, skateboard, mate. He's dying. He's dying a slow death, though. This is like full speed, which is pretty slow. No, she's dying. I'm not really getting any warning from the controller. I don't really know how the battery monitoring works through the controller. There's no battery indicator on the board. But um, I mean, it's pretty good. That's probably like uh, 
probably 20 k's or something I've got. Real world, up and down some hills and stuff. Not being super economical. I'm still going. It's just slowly going. This is still going to be a long walk home though. <laughs> like 4k walk home. I guess I can skateboard home. It's still a skateboard even though it doesn't have power. It, uh, I don't think the motors cause that much resistance, but oh well. I guess it's perfect for if you act like I could have charged it at work. Like um, the only reason I didn't was because I really wanted to see how far I could push it. I mean, I'm still going actually. Like it's just going slowly. Like this is full throttle low, which is very slow compared to what it normally does. Maybe it's got like an eco mode or something, uh, which gets you a little, a couple more k's at like real slow. But I'm like, I'm still going like jogging pace. I'm just gonna keep going. See how far it goes. I wish I had a downhill or something so I could put some more power into it. But uh, no, I'm dying. We're dying. So about 20 k's I got, I'll say. Which is still very good for an electric skateboard. 20 kilometers, real world. That's not just, you know, perfect results. This is a fat kid with a freaking oven in his backpack, up and down hills. And we're still going. Shit, we might make it home, just very slowly. I did not make it home, but I did make it a respectable 20 kilometers on the real skateboard. Um, this has been filmed a little bit after. Um, I've absolutely been loving this this uh, electric skateboard. I've been using it like crazy, doing tons of fun things on it. Took it to the beach. Uh, I've just always been chucking it in my car. And it's just been so useful. I have found a few other things like the uh, battery status. It comes on when you first turn it on, um, and then you can do your speed mode so that's how the battery monitor works um but otherwise electric skateboard has been fantastic i've been smashing it using it all the time i didn't think it would be that useful but it's been absolutely great um i have kind of scratched up the uh battery thing but that's all metal so that's um that's fine i've been smashing it over off-road and a few things um it's been great, unlike my uh, electric scooter and electric bike, which are currently broken, the electric skateboard has gone great. Um, so I might make a follow-up video in a bit later um, showing everything else I've done with the, the electric skateboard, but otherwise, this has been awesome. Love it. Oh, get the goalie, get the goalie! <laughs> I tried to flick it in reverse, but it kept going. 